Hi, and welcome to second grade. This is a new virtual meet your teacher. So I wanted to introduce myself first. My name is Molly Battles, and I am your child's second grade teacher here at Franklin. A little bit about myself. This is, I think, year 17 for me here at Franklin, all spent here. Um, most of my time has been in second grade. I did spend six years in third grade, but second grade is what I love, and I'm glad to be your child's teacher. Um, my own personal life, I have three boys. Layton is my oldest, and he is starting at Clark Middle School this year in sixth grade. Cooper is my middle child and he is a fourth grader. And then my youngest son is Barrett and he is a first grader. My husband Ian is also a seventh and eighth grade social studies teacher at Clark this year. Um, so this is what my real face looks like. This is what your child will see most of the time here, but I'm gonna take it off because nobody else is here at the moment. So I have my cheat sheet over here and I'm gonna kind of look at it to make sure I tell you what you need to know. And then I will scan the room so you can see our room as well. Most of you have already signed up for Remind and that information went home with your child the first day of school. It's an app that's really good about um, keeping in contact. So you can message me privately, I can message the group or you privately. And it's the easiest and the fastest way to get in touch with me. I'd also like if you have Facebook for you to like my Mrs. Battle's second grade Facebook page because then I also post pictures and things that are going on in the room. So I wanna explain a little bit about our daily schedule and this is subject to change a little bit, but um, your child can enter the room at 7.30 in the morning and the tardy bell rings at eight o'clock. When the students get here, they have some morning work to get started on and jumpstart their day. Um, starting at eight o'clock, we will go into our math meeting and our math talks. And from there, we have our reading block, which our reading block is a 90 minute reading block. After that, we have specials starting at 1015 and our specials are music on Monday. Mrs. Lindsay with Second Steps is on Tuesday. Library Wednesday, art on Thursday, and PE will be on Friday. So make sure those tennis shoes are worn on Friday, please. And we go straight from special to recess and then lunch. Our lunch time is from 11.10 to 11.40. So if you need to plan around that for any reason. Um, after lunch in our afternoon, we start with a read aloud. And then we will do some writing in our journals and some language with that. From there, we will do another 60 minutes of some math, usually with our math lesson and then some stations. After that, we will take a brain break, relax for a little bit, and then end our day with some silent reading and some one-on-one -on -one conferencing with me and your child and the students in the room. So that's basically a breakdown of our day. It's jam-packed, but we're busy and we're doing what we're supposed to be doing and trying to get the most out of the time we're together. Uh, let's see here. Starting this week, I will send home on Mondays a newsletter just letting you know what's happening in the class. and. It's just kind of talks about the different subjects and what we're doing in there. Also, this is the homework that I will send home. Now, as you can see, homework is just a little bit of something each day. So Monday, Wednesday is some math, just a couple of problems each. And then Tuesday, Thursday is some reading. And it says for 20 minutes, but as long as your child is reading aloud to you or to someone, and even can be a stuffed animal or something. If they don't wanna read aloud, they can read to themselves if they're capable of doing that. Just a little bit of reading those two days. Now on Friday, I ask that this be returned. And if your child returns it, then they get a Benjamin. If they do not return it to me on Friday, they don't get punished or penalized, but they also don't earn that Benjamin as well. So these two things will come home this week and starting in the weeks in the future. All right, I'm gonna turn this camera and we're gonna pan the room. So I'm gonna get up out of my chair. All right, so I'm gonna show you the whole room. We've tried our very best to make sure that this room is socially distant. Obviously there's some desks <laughs> that we have a lot of students in here, but we're doing the most out of what we can here. And I promise you that we are trying to make sure that everybody is safe and healthy. So here's our math meeting that we will do every day. Students will do some problems, a balance clock. Here is our objectives board where I post things that we will be working on throughout the week and students know. 
Everybody has their individual headphones that they will use when we are working on computers. And so that means they only use their number and not somebody else touching it. I'm gonna scan a little bit over here. They also have a cubby where they will store some of their things that they need to use. And again, trying to keep that safe so that nobody else touches their things. And then here is our lunch count. And here's our, from our behavior problem, our behavior area, I guess I should say. So I do not do a clip chart like I know they have in the past for kindergarten and first grade. Students can earn and lose Benjamins. We, we focus more on the earning than we do on the losing. But if um, a student loses a Benjamin, number one, minus one would be a consequence if it's necessary, but it could just be a warning. If they lose two Benjamins or more, then there will probably be some kind of comp some kind of consequence and I will write on their behavior sheet what happened on there. Um, then at the end of the, of the week on Friday, they're able to spend their Benjamins on things for the classroom. So there's just different things that they can do. Like they can bring in something for show and tell for 30 Benjamins. They can get a piece of gum for 15 and so on. So that's just something that they can earn. And I think that is about it. Uh, most of you have been really good about getting in contact with me. If you need something, please make sure you keep doing that. I hope that someday we can meet in person, but I am enjoying your child. I'm excited to be his or her teacher, and I hope that we have a really great year. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.